What's all that about? Cocks crowing. I don't know. So is it true when the... when the egg comes out of the chicken that it's all soft and the shell only hardens when it hits the air? Hmm. I think that's the kind of knowledge that should be more widely available. I'll start telling a few people. Your dad, you know, I think your dad has started a whispering campaign against me. Mm-hmm. You know, <sighs> putting it about that I'm a crappy photographer. Oh, don't be ridiculous. Well, maybe he's angry with you. I know that, yeah, but why? Mm, he married me for a start. Mm, you don't take him seriously. People in the village take him seriously. He's used to it. I've had a go with that. I'm not doing it again. Why didn't you and Dad just slap your penises down on the table and sort it out? Yeah, thanks for the image. I won't ask you to hop up on a table with my mother and some vegetables and go through the same thing. Well, you know what I mean. Well, I need the business, you know. I can't go under before I've started. I mean, then what am I going to do around here? Count cowpats or what? Well, don't. you just got to get out more and, you know, put yourself about. You must be glad you came back from London. Yeah. I'm glad I went away. Ah, the gift of cheerfulness. In my experience, <clears throat> children mistrust cheerful people. Uh-huh. Hmm. They see happiness as weakness. Hmm. Hello. Hello. Hi. Headmaster, you've not met my husband, Ian. No, how are you doing? Hello, nice to meet you. Hello. It's a lovely, lovely school you have here. It's a picturesque school. Do we think that's the same thing? Um, I was wanting to talk to you, actually, about the, the school photo. Uh, I, I, I do believe they're due to be taken. We use Mr. Webb. Well, I, I'm sort of the, the new Mr. Webb. I, I took over his business, you see, so I was hoping that you'd... You have a portfolio you can show me, then. Oh, yes. Portfolio, yes. I'll, I'll bring Why it in. Why don't you bring it in? I will. I'll, I'll, I'll bring it in. You'll bring it in, will you? Cannot be this complicated. Flash focal, shutter priority, shift lens, shoot film, red eye reduction, fogging, focusing. Slave unit. Do you have a slave unit? What about snap and cheese? Anamorphic? No, too many syllables. You're just a box. Darker, my dog. String, pegs. Do it. Page one. Mm, that's too many words. No, no. Mr. Webb, come back. Well, first of all, the man and woman have to love each other very, very much. And then the man puts his seed into the woman and the seed and the egg go together and that turns into a baby. Does it hurt? No. Where does he get his seed? Well, the man already has the seeds inside of him. Does that hurt? No. Hi, Joe. Hi. Hiya. Hi. I've uh, left the crepe paper for the happy monster in the small cupboard. Thanks, Derek. Just like to say how great it is you're back. Thank you. Um, I missed you. <laughs> Do you want to go and play? No. Go on. Go and play. No. Will you stop trying to pull her tooth out, Gemma? It will come out when it's ready. Why does she do that? Animals. That one's, uh, not very good. What's this? It's a Paris uh, in the 1950s. I had to evoke the atmosphere of the 1950s. It's not a focus. It was a very weird time, the 1950s. Hmm. If I let you photograph my school children, I trust you'll limit yourself to evoking Snowell Primary School in the 1990s. Yes, that'll be the effect I'd want. What's this? The American actress, Pamela Anderson. So I've seen her in the newspaper, have I not? Yes, it was a press conference. It was very tricky because of the rediffused revelation. You had to a special polarity, special emotion. And this is all your work, is it? Oh, yes, 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 it is. 
Have you taken school photographs before? Not specifically, but I've always loved children. It wouldn't be necessary for you to love them. Well, I will award you the contract. Oh, goody. I mean, thank you, Headmaster. But don't expect me to appear in your photograph. Oh, why not? Don't you? Well, you should. It'll be probably quite a... Yes. No, perhaps not. not. I'll... Thank you. Good. I'll just take these back to the monastery. Can I have a look at my new window? Did you know orange is the new brown? Really? Yeah. Wow. Oh, chic! Yes. It's my spring look. I thought lots of daffodils and duckies and bunnies, you know. It's great. You could do some new mannequins, eh? Why? What's wrong with them? Yours looks like Maya Hindley. Yeah, she does a bit. Well, I sometimes put her hands up so you can't see her face, but... Uh -huh. This is good. Oh, thanks. Mm. I I'd say it's floppy, but not too floppy. But that depends on your definition of floppy. Hello. Oh, hi. Hi. Been looking for you. I can't talk to you at school and I can't ring you at home, hi, so... Hi, Derry. Oh, let me sell you a blouse for your mum. No, thank no? you. Or some pants. For yourself, some panties. Are you sure? OK. <laughs> All right, yeah, I've got some crop tops I need to sort out. Let's see. I'm sorry, Lisa, just working with you again. It's just opened up all this... So, don't think we should talk about this in a bit more private. Me and Ian have been together for some time now. So have we. You've got to put that behind you. I'm not going to give up hope. You have to. Okay, so there's, there's just no generosity in him. There is. Honestly, he's, he's just under a bit of pressure. Derek, I'm married to Ian. We love each other and we're staying together. Let's try it on, shall we? I think we'll use the one at the back. Morning. Morning. Oh. This is where you take your snaps. Have you come to commission a portrait? No. I know what I look like. Business? Flourishing. Really? So what's it like when business is quiet? I don't know. It's never been quiet. I've come to make you a business proposal. No? I'm going to give you £20,000 to divorce my daughter and leave the village. What? I'm giving you £20,000 to get out of our lives. I get the impression you don't consider me your ideal son-in-law. No. I consider you a piece of shit. Well, you can sit on the fence as much as you like, but... The devil will scrub the sneer off your face. I'm sorry, I didn't realize you were completely mad. Well, all, all right, okay. Let's do it, I'll go, yeah, okay. God. But there are other conditions. I want your red pickup truck. What? Your red pickup truck, I want it. Uh, I can't have it. Then the deal's off, I'm not going. All right, have it. And the big bush in your front garden with the purple leaves. Why? I like it. It's nice. I want you to send it to me in a special big bush box. I'm glad you find this amusing. Well, I can do you amusement or rage. You'll never amount to anything down here. Nobody gets anywhere in this village without my patronage. Ah, oh, yes. The great patrons. Cosmo de' Medici, King Ludwig II of Bavaria, Catherine the Great, and Astley Yardley, West Sussex turkey farmer. £20,000. Come and see me when you've realised it's a good idea. Doodaloo. I bumped into Derek in Helen's shop today. Mm-hmm. He's still quite keen on me, you know. Why wouldn't he be? 
I had to put him off. Well, it's difficult, isn't it, all that? You're right. Yeah. Mm. It's not like you to miss an opportunity to make fun of an ex-boyfriend. Mm, I'm fine. Aren't you going to mock our provincial headlines? No. What have we got here? Ooh. Village hall officially damp. Mm, health centre gets much needed turning circle. Wait, what's the matter? Nothing. You're jealous, aren't you? No, I'm not. But I, I only mentioned Derek, not for any... Like Lisa, you know, I've got tons of stuff in my mind. Jealous is the last thing I'm thinking about. Well, maybe you shouldn't be. Me and Derek were quite an item, you know. Well, give him a ring or whatever. Would you just only just don't bang on about it all the time? I'm going for a present check here. Do you think you could get into a crescent? A crescent shape. That's what I'm going for here. A crescent. I want you to. If you could just. How do I look? What's the opposite of beautifully understated? Oh. Oh, you look wonderful. Oh. Hey. We're on in a minute. Oh, really? How's he doing out there? Yeah, that's it. Come in. Don't worry about the smiling. Come in. Little girl. Little girl. With the hair. Go back. Back in, pick it. Get in. You've upset the whole cosmology here. Get in. Sorry, thank you. And spread out again. Shouldn't we be helping him a bit? No. I'm sure we used to help Mr. Webb. Oh God, plurals. Never did plurals. No, don't do that. You're in a you're in a kind of a parabola now. That's no good. It's been done. It, you, we don't, people don't want to see that. Can you just the crescent is what? Please. Anna. Mm -hmm. What do other people do when their husbands are at war with their parents-in-law? You want to be worried if they get on. Believe me, you can't screw a bloke properly if you spent all tea time grinning at your parents. I can't make it any simpler than that. <laughs> Don't! Be not careful. This is going to split us up, you know. They'll sort it out. Get somebody. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. Um, <coughs> little chap there, could you take your hands out of your pockets, please? Thank you. <laughs> Can someone wipe her nose, please? She's got stuff coming out. So... OK, thanks. And you with the uh, sticky out ears, can you not move around so much? I mean, I mean, angled ears. Nicely angled ears. Like a little, little rabbit. She's very well behaved. And I think... What we'll do, what we'll do is we'll separate Lisa and Derek. That's what we'll do. We can't have the teachers wanting to be naughty with the other teachers, can we, boys and girls? That's better. OK, that is better. That's much better. OK, everybody, hold that. Hold that until I say, relax, OK? <laughs> relax. I'm sorry. Hmm. It's your favourite thing. Do you that was a really mean thing to do to Derek. And me, actually. I know, I'm sorry. I'm really sorry. It's not easy for him, you know. No, I know. Poor old Derek. The heap. Coping with his presence every day. Just being with himself all that time. It must be. You don't know what's got into you, Ian. I mean, you won't even look at me in the face anymore. I do. I look. Look, I'm looking. Don't be silly. It's very difficult for me here. It's harder than I thought it would be. You know, I don't have any money. I miss my friends. Hey, I what can't... friends? The gang, you know, the ga the old gang. The gang? You did not have a gang. Yeah, but I took the same bus every day for a long time. I knew the faces and everything. Yes, well, we'll find you a gang down here. I don't want a gang down here. I mean, you know, people eat off such big plates and, and, and they all go to the market. Hey, anyway, you know that, um... They know that big group photograph, the school one. 
Mm. It's, it's very difficult to choose the right one to show anybody. Why? Well, you know, it's just there are there is, there are none. Huh? I ruined the negative. Bugger. Mm? I have to retake it. Mm -hmm. what? Ian? What? What? Ian, will you come here? Of course. What do you mean? You have to retake it. Oh, well, Norris would won't let you retake it. Make him. Make it, make him. Oh. Hi. Come in. Hello, Headmaster. Hello. I bumped into Lynn, the temporary lollipop lady. Oh, yeah. She said that Neil Blake was abusive to her last week. What did you call her? Witch or lollipop, which she couldn't quite remember. If I'm really seeing his mother, I'll, 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 I'll have words. Thank you. And Ian would rather like to take the group photo again. I don't see why not, do you? Yes. They lost enough out of their schooling the first time. If he has another job properly, then he can pay another photographer to come and do the work again. Not so it's not so much the time you begrudge, it's the principal. It's just because he's so good that he wants to do it again. He's an artist. Well, we'll have to settle for bad art this time, won't we? What am I doing? I'm wasting her time, is what I'm doing. Calm down. Calm down. Do some paperwork. Paper. No work. No work. No paper. No paperwork. No business. No business. Oh, hello. You, uh, is that still around, do you know? Mr. Yardley? Those birds are very relaxed, aren't they? Turkeys. They get by. I read in the book that the shell only hardens when it comes into contact with the air. I've come to accept the offer. Good. But 20,000 isn't enough. No, what do you have in mind? 50. No, it's too much. You can afford it. 25 now and 25 after I've gone. 15,000 now, 15 later. Look, this is the saddest day of my life. I'm not horse trading over Lisa. 20,000 now, 20 after I've gone. OK. But this, this, would this all be better if I was English? Would you like me then? I can be English, you know. Tiffin. Where's my tissues? What's the gooseberry Doc, situation? I want you to sign something saying you'll be gone by the end of the month. I'm not signing anything. And I'm not going anywhere until I get the cash. Get up, piece of crap. Yeah. Do you have any idea what this would do to Lisa if she knew? I'm doing it for her. You two would have split up anyway, as you know. 
Just trying to save it all some wasted years. These are much better, you know. Do you know, I'm really pleased. I'm glad you like them. Oh, the hands swivel. Look. Oh, great. <laughs> Surprised. I'm more worried about the nipples. Mm. Yeah, I think I'm going to pay Dean to file them down. Mm, I'm sure that weirdy guy from the garage should do it for free. Oh, Lisa, don't. <laughs> How's Ian? Mm, a bit gloomy. Oh, no, he just feels a bit like I did when we tried living in London. What, a little bit snuffy? No, paranoid. Oh, what? He feels cut off. Sorry, Lisa. I'm sorry. Do you always put pants on your tummies? No, Jill just feels more comfortable if they wear them. See? Hmm. Now, Lisa, you don't have to listen to what I'm going to say. What? Well, it's just that I've heard this rumour. It's just a rumour. What? That Dad's offered Ian money to leave you. <sighs> That's ridiculous. I know, I know it is. I know. I... <sighs> I, I mean, who starts these things? I mean, that's really wicked. I know, I know. And apparently Ian's thinking about it, but... Shut up, Helen, that's horrible. I know, I just... I'm sorry. <gasps> I'm all cross now. Oh, God, I shouldn't have said anything. Hug me, please, hug me. I... We need... <laughs> John, you need you back a little bit. If you get back into a straight line... <laughs> Melanie, you need to look forward Everybody when it's time to take the picture. All the... Were you all there before? Yeah. Talking sure. the back. Yeah. 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 Thanks for having me out. That's okay. Where's the where's the headmaster going there? Um going to investigate a minibus. All right. <laughs> Tuck your shirt in. Thanks. I'm still finding my feet in the community, you know. The, you know I know you're Yeah. Okay, the little the little red haired girl. You were you were standing next to the other red haired girl, weren't you? And the other one, so can you go back for me? But I don't want to stand next to Claire. But you have to go back because because that's where you were the last time but you I had... don't want to stand next to Claire. God almighty, hang on a second. <laughs> There's polymers, they're a bit dusty, but they're alright. You go on. That's it. I don't want to stand next to Zoe! No, wait a minute, wait, come here, wait, hang on. Uh, I don't have any more, I don't have any more sweets. Here, go get a dolly or a horse. <coughs> I, I'm, I'm standing on the other side. Shut your face. <gasps> now forget about the money, there'll be more money later. Just get back and photograph me, will you? Look, the next child who moves will receive a punishment. <laughs> Mmm, <laughs> goody. Boys and girls, I'm sorry. <clears throat> I'm so sorry you've been subjected to time wasting of this kind. <clears throat> Mrs. Lyons, will you come out here, please? Look. Be quiet! Go to your classroom. Count it. Okay, one. Not the bag, the money. No. If you're not out of here by the end of the month, I'll make sure Lisa knows. 
You took the money. Really? Well, I'd love to chat. So, everyone has their price. Don't forget my van and my bush. I know people at the bank. Look at me. Your father withdrew 20,000 pounds in cash and took it round to Ian. And he's agreed to leave you. I'm just sorry it had to be me to tell you. No, you're not. your dad giving some money to charity. Ooh. They're not his favourites, but there you go. Oh, what? There's five grand to the Ramblers Association, 200 quid for the Lib Dems, and... Well, ten grand to the Beard Museum in Leeds would be quite good. I know how much he likes beards and liberals. I thought you were going to leave me. <laughs> Why would I do that? I want to stay in this turkey-plucking, privet-poncing <laughs> pit until people stop annoying us. My dad's going to kill you, you know. No, I mean it. Oh. I was so much easier before I met you. Was it this much fun? It was more fun, actually. Fun gives you wrinkles. You got a furry tongue and everything. They can paint the blackest picture of you. They can hate everything that you do They can crush you under heel But nothing will change the way I feel Love's the only thing that's real Nothing will change the way I feel Love's the only thing that's real Do you want to go and play? No. Go on. Go and play. No. Will you stop trying to pull her tooth out, Gemma? It will come out when it's ready. Why does she do that? Animals. That one's, uh, not very good. What's this? It's a Paris uh, in the 1950s. I had to evoke the atmosphere of the 1950s. It's not even focus. It was a very weird time, the 1950s. Hmm. If I let you photograph my school children, I trust you'll limit yourself to evoking Snell Primary School in the 1990s. Yes, that'll be the effect I'd want. The American actress, Pamela Anderson. 
But I've seen her in the newspaper, have I not? Yes, it was a press conference. It was very tricky because of the re-diffused revelation. You had to a special polarity, special emotion. And this is all your work, is it? Oh, yes, 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 it is. Have you taken school photographs before? Not specifically, but I've always loved children. It wouldn't be necessary for you to love them. Well, I will award you the contract. Oh, goody. I mean, thank you, Headmaster. But don't expect me to appear in your photograph. Oh, why not? Don't you? Well, you should. It'll be probably quite a... No, perhaps not. not. I'll... Thank you. Good. I'll just take these back to the monastery. Can I have a look through my new window? Did you know orange is the new brown? Really? Yeah. Wow. Oh, chic! Yes. It's my spring look. I thought lots of daffodils and duckies and bunnies, you know. It's great. You could do some new mannequins, eh? Why? What's wrong with them? Yours looks like Maya Hindley. Yeah, she does a bit. Well, I sometimes put her hands up so you can't see her face, but... Uh -huh. This is good. Oh, thanks. Mm. I I'd say it's floppy, but not too floppy. Have seen But that depends on your definition of floppy. Hello. Oh, hi. Hi. Been looking for you. I can't talk to you at school and I can't ring you at home, hi, so... Hi, Derek. Oh, let me sell you a blouse for your mum. No, thank no? you. Or some pants. For yourself, some panties. Are you sure? OK. All <laughs> oh, right, yeah, I've got some crop tops I need to sort out. Let's see. I'm sorry, Lisa, just working with you again. It's just opened up all this... So, don't you think we should talk about this somewhere a bit more private? Or... Me and Ian have been together for some time now. <laughs> so have we. You've got to put that behind you. I'm not going to give up hope. You have to. Oh, Lisa, there's, there's just no generosity in him. There is. Honestly, he's, he's just under a bit of pressure. Derek, I'm married to Ian. We love each other and we're staying together. Let's try it on, shall we? I think we'll use the one at the back. Ah! Uh. Morning. Morning. Oh. This is where you take your snaps. Have you come to commission your portrait? No. I know what I look like. Business? Flourishing. Really? So what's it like when business is quiet? What's all that about? Cocks crowing. Mm -hmm. So is it true when the when the egg comes out of the chicken that it's all soft and the shell only hardens when it hits the air? Mm. I think that's the kind of knowledge that should be more widely available. I'll start telling a few people. Your dad, you know, I think your dad has started a whispering campaign against me. Mm-hmm. You know. <sighs> Putting it about that I'm a crappy photographer. Oh, don't be ridiculous. Well, maybe he's angry with you. I know that, yeah. But why? Mm, married me for a start. Mm, you don't take him seriously. People in the village take him seriously. He's used to it. I've had a go with that. I'm not doing it again. Why didn't you and Dad just slap your penises down on the table and sort it out? Yeah, thanks for the image. I won't ask you to hop up on a table with my mother and some vegetables and go through the same thing. Oh, you know what I mean. Well, I need the business, you know. I can't go under before I've started. I mean, then what am I going to do around here? Count cowpats or what? Oh, don't. you just got to get out more and, you know, put yourself about. You must be glad you came back from London. Yeah. I'm glad I went away. 
Ah, the gift of cheerfulness. In my experience, <clears throat> children mistrust cheerful people. Uh huh. Hmm. No, no, it's never been quiet. I've come to make you a business proposal. Yeah. I'm going to give you twenty thousand pounds to divorce my daughter and leave the village. What? I'm giving you twenty thousand pounds to get out of our lives. I get the impression you don't consider me your ideal son-in-law. No, I consider you a piece of shit. Well, you can sit on the fence as much as you like, but the devil will scrub the sneer off your face. I'm sorry, I didn't realize you were completely mad. Well, all right, all right. okay, let's do it. I'll go. Yeah, okay. God. But there are other conditions. I want your red pickup truck. What? Your red pickup truck. I want. Ah, uh, can't have it. Then the deal's off. I'm not going. All right, have it. And the big bush in your front garden with the purple leaves. Why? I like it. It's nice. I want you to send it to me in a special big bush box. I'm glad you find this amusing. Well, I can do you amusement or rage. You'll never amount to anything down here. Nobody gets anywhere in this village without my patronage. Ah, yes. My great patrons. Cosmo de' Medici, King Ludwig II of Bavaria, Catherine the Great, and Astley Yardley, West Sussex turkey farmer. Twenty thousand pounds. Come and see me when you've realized it's a good idea. Doodle. They see happiness as weakness. Hmm. Hello. Hello. Hi. Headmaster, you've not met my husband, Ian. No, how are you doing? Hello, nice to meet you. Hello. It's a lovely, lovely school you have here. It's a picturesque school. Do we think that's the same thing? Um, I was wanting to talk to you, actually, about the, the school photo. Uh, I, I, I do believe they're due to be We use Mr. Webb. Well, I, I'm sort of the, the new Mr. Webb. I, I took over his business, you see, so I was hoping that you... You'll have you'd... a portfolio you can show me, then. Oh, yes. Portfolio, yes. I'll, I'll bring Why it in. Why don't you bring it in? I will. I'll, I'll, I'll bring it in. You'll bring it in, will you? It cannot be this complicated. Flash focal. Shutter priority, shift lens, shoot plan, red eye reduction, fogging, focus. Slave unit. Do you have a slave unit? What about snap and cheese? Anamorphic? No, too many syllables. You're just a box. Dark room. My dark room. String, pegs. Do it. Page one. Mm, that's too many words. No, no. Mr. Webb, come back. Well, first of all, the man and woman have to love each other very, very much. And then the man puts his seed into the woman and the seed and the egg go together and that turns into a baby. Does it hurt? No. Where does he get his seed? Well, the man already has the seeds inside of him. Does that hurt? Hi, Joe. Oh. Hi. Hiya. Hi. I've uh, left the crepe paper for the happy monster in the small cupboard. Thanks, Derek. Just like to say how great it is you're back. Thank you. Um, I missed you. <laughs> 